Hi, my name is Chris Osmondson. Welcome to the NCREC Research Vineyard. Um, the first vines we put in here were put in in 2013. We put in around 1,300 vines. Since then, we've added over 6,400 vines, and we're still taking data on more than 3,000 of those. Every one of these vines is a wine grape, so they're a little different than the ones you see in the grocery store. They're a little smaller and they have seeds, but uh, they're really good for making wine, which is what we're trying to do here. It's where the market is. Um, they're all a little different than you would buy in like a nursery. These are grown especially from seeds and the seeds are hand pollinated and the parents are carefully selected. So we have a lot of the parents are from the University of Minnesota or the University of South Dakota, some cold hardy lines from Elmer Swenson in Wisconsin and they're crossed with select riparia or wild river grapes that have unparalleled hardiness and wine lines that are more popular, more people know about like Chardonnay. What we're trying to do is develop a wine grape that will work in North Dakota. We have grapes that will grow here and there's grapes that make good wine, but there aren't many that will do both. And our season is short enough that we also need them to ripen quickly. Otherwise, they're not much good. Since each of these vines is unique and they're grown from seed, every one is tested separately. So once they grow fruit, we'll take each plant and separately test cluster weight, berry weight, yield, sugar content, pH, flavor notes. And if there's enough present, which is about two thirds of a pound, we'll do micro vinification, which is basically small batches of wine where you're making one bottle of wine at a time. And when those are done, they're all evaluated by a peer group and the wines are compared to each other and only the best ones are kept. Um, we've been really lucky this year with a grant from the USDA, a specialty crop block grant from the USDA and another grant from the Grape and Wine Association. We've been able to take on some really neat new projects this year. For the first time, we've grown and planted in the vineyard here seeds that were specially created by the NCREC staff with, day, with material that was generously donated by Jeff Peterson from the Point of View Winery. And it's the thing that's really special about these is they have their start close to home. One of the parents that was selected is a riparia or a wild river grape that was discovered down in the Missouri River Basin right between Minot and Burlington. And the numbers on this plant are so spectacular that it's being used in research as far away as China. So it's gonna be really exciting to see what they do. And since we've started them here in the greenhouse and planted them out here, we also have germination data and growth data that we were never able to have before. Um, another thing that we've done this year that's really exciting is we've taken our plants that we've grown here that have the best wine numbers, the most promising vines, and we've created mother blocks, which is where you take a plant and you clone it and you get several plants that are the same. And since we've done that, we're also able, now we're gonna be able to do wine studies on a much bigger scale than we've ever been able to before. We'll be able to study hardiness. And if, we're, if we like what we see, there's a chance that this will be a first step in creating and releasing the first wine grape that's ever been specifically for the North Dakota region. Mm -hmm.